Let's learn about different types of foods with crayon surprises. First, we'll open the red crayon. Wow, look at all the red foods. These are tomatoes. Tomatoes are actually fruit because they have seeds inside. I'll just remove the stalk and let's cut a slice. One slice of tomato. Let's cut another slice. Tomatoes go great on pizza. What else can we put tomatoes on? Hmm, how about a hamburger? Lettuce and bun. That's one juicy burger. What's next? It's a red pepper. These are strawberries. Let's go prepare them. I'll just take the green stalk off first. I'll put this one over here and let's cut a slice. What could we make with the strawberries? Ah, oh, I know. How about a smoothie? It's one and two. Now add some fresh milk. Put the lid on and turn on the smoothie maker. Almost done. Pour it in the cup. Smoothies are a great way to get all your fruits and vegetables. I'll just place the lid on the top so the smoothie doesn't come out. Now all we need is a straw and we're all done. One smoothie. What's next? Ah, watermelon. Watermelon is a lovely summer fruit. Let's cut a slice. Two slices of watermelon. What else is there? Oh, a red apple. Let's cut a slice. First, I'll take the green stalk off. Apples are a great source of fiber, which is good for you. This is a chili, and chilies can be very hot. They come in all different colors. Some are green and some are red. Many dishes around the world use chilies to add flavor. What's our next crayon? It's the orange crayon. What shall we choose? How about this one? It's an orange. Orange is a fruit. I'll take the stalk off. Let's cut the orange in half. Oranges are a great source of vitamin C. Look inside, it's got lots of different segments. This is a fish, and fish is a source of protein. Two slices of fish. What are these vegetables? They're carrots. Let's go prepare them. First, I'll grate this carrot with a grater. This takes the skin off the outside. All done. Next, I'll cut some slices of carrot. One, two. Carrots are a great source of vitamin A, which is good for your eyesight. This is an orange pepper, and it's related to the chili. What's next? It's a pumpkin. Did you know that a pumpkin is actually a fruit? See, it has seeds inside. Now let's open the yellow crayon. shall we pick first? How about this? It's a banana. First I'll peel the yellow skin on the outside and the inside of the banana is pale yellow. Let's cut a slice. It's one and two. Banana slice. Bananas go great on pancakes. That's one two, and three slices of banana. Oh, and some blueberries. What type of vegetable is this? It's corn. Sometimes it's called maize. Corn actually comes in different colors and even multicolored, red, yellow, and brown. Here's a wedge of Swiss cheese. It has holes in it. And here's a slice of Swiss cheese. Hmm. What type of fruit is this? It's a mango. 
And a mango is a tropical fruit. Tropical fruit grow in countries that are close to the Earth's equator, like India and Southeast Asia. This is a lemon. And lemons are very sour. Lemons are a great source of vitamin C. And they're their main ingredient in lemonade. Oh, look! We have another tropical fruit. It's pineapple. Let's cut a slice. This is a pineapple ring. And the last fruit is a yellow pepper. It is a savory fruit. I wonder what's inside the green crayon. Let's open it. Wow, there are so many green fruits and vegetables. This one's green on the outside. It's a watermelon. And watermelons are red on the inside. What's this green vegetable? Hmm, let's open it up. Oh, there's beans inside. They're broad beans. What shall we choose next? How about this? It's a pear. Pears have an unusual shape. They're like a teardrop. I'll just take the stalk off and cut a slice. Pears can be used in all different things like pies, jellies, jams, and juice. What type of vegetable is this? That's right, it's a cabbage. I'll just peel off some leaves. That's one and two. What's this? It's a cucumber. Cucumber is a fruit. Let's cut a slice. Cucumbers are 95% water. Cucumber goes great in salads and sandwiches. Can you guess what this is? It's a bunch of asparagus. Asparagus is a vegetable and is related to onions and leeks. Hmm, what's this? It's a pea pod. Open it up and there are peas inside. Peas grow on vines. This is broccoli. Broccoli is a very healthy vegetable. Let's cut it up. Each slice is called a floret. I have three florets of broccoli. What's this long vegetable? It's a bean. Beans are picked from vines. We have another bell pepper. This time it's green. I'll just prepare it. Take the stalk off and cut it in half. We have two halves of green pepper. What type of fruit is this? It's a kiwi. Kiwis have lots of little seeds on the inside. And sometimes they can be a bit sour too. This is an avocado. It's a fruit. Avocados usually have a giant seed on the inside. Avocado is a main ingredient in guacamole. Our next crayon is the blue one. Let's open it up. I wonder what's inside. Oh, lots of different things. What's this? It's a blue cupcake. What else is there? We have blueberries and a blue popsicle. And last we have a blue fish. I'll just cut some fillets. It's one and two. Two fillets of fish. Next is the purple crayon. What types of things are purple? This is a purple cabbage and a purple eggplant. First, I'll take the green stalk off and cut it in half. Did you know that eggplant is actually a fruit? What's this type of fruit? It's a mango steam. Let's cut a slice. Mango steam are a tropical fruit. This is a 
plum. Plums grow in colder climates. A plum is a fruit, and when dried, is called a prune. <laughs> wow! What's this? It's bamboo. I'll cut one slice and another. We have three slices of bamboo. What type of fruit is this? That's right, it's grapes. Grapes are berries and they grow on vines. Humans have been growing grapes for thousands of years. What's this? Color purple, but people usually call it red onion. Let's cut a slice. This is an onion ring. Onion rings go great in sandwiches. Oh, I wonder what sort of things are inside the pink crayon. What's this? It's a macaron. It is a French treat. They are made from egg white, sugar, and flour. Here's a box of macarons. Wouldn't that be a nice gift for someone? What type of fruit is this? That's right, it's a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit grow on cactus vines. That's why there is spiky fruit on the outside. This is a pink pot of strawberry yogurt. What's next? Oh, it's a giant pink prawn. Prawn is a good source of protein. And here is a prawn cutlet. What's next? It's a pink ice cream. And a pink donut. Donut is a sometimes food. What type of fruit is this? It's a peach. A real peach is usually fluffy or fuzzy to touch on the outside. Peaches are a stone fruit because they have a large seed in the middle. This is a pink fish. Let's prepare the fish for cooking. Two slices of fish. There is only one crayon left. It's the brown one. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Wow, lots of things. This is ground beef and it goes in a taco. What's this? It's an egg. Let's go cook it in the toy kitchen. I have a fry pan. I'll just turn on the toy grill. Crack the egg. And watch it cook. You can hear it sizzle. All done. We have a fried egg. What's this? It's a mushroom. Let's go cut a slice. Two slices of mushroom. This is a bar of chocolate. And this is a loaf of bread. What else is there? Some ham. Let's go cut some slices. That's one and two. Have three slices of ham. What's next? Oh, it's a T-bone steak. This is a potato. A potato is a vegetable that grows under the ground. Next is a pancake with maple syrup and butter on top. What's this type of vegetable? It's an onion. Let's cut it in half. An onion inside has many different layers. this type of fruit? It's a kiwi. Its skin is brown and fuzzy on the outside and bright green on the inside. This is a chicken drumstick. Two pieces of chicken drumstick. Hmm, I have a cone. What goes with the cone? An ice cream scoop. One chocolate ice cream. Grilled chicken. And last is a couple of burger buns. 
Wow, there are so many things in the crayons. Today we learned about different types of fruit, vegetables, and proteins. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainy Bow.